What's up guys and welcome back to Technique of the Week right here on Deco Creek TV. My name's Jeff and on today's show we're going to go over the steps you need to take of how to apply a GFRC mix to styrofoam uh, to make foam core vertical concrete. So stay tuned and you're going to learn all about it. So I got to tell you guys, uh, foam core vertical concrete is just unbelievable. You can get so creative. You can do so many things with nothing but just some styrofoam and some vertical carve mix. Now there is a step in between and that's what we're going to be doing today. And that is going to be applying a GFRC mix to it just to give it the structure. Uh, the this foam and the, the carve mix itself just isn't going to be quite enough. We need a layer in between to make it really, really strong. So uh, this is going to be just our standard GFRC backer mix. Um, you know, if you guys uh, pour countertops of this stuff, it is the exact same thing. We don't need any face coat. All we need is the backer mix. Now, as far as the styrofoam goes, uh, this uh, all started, uh, this was part of a big eight uh, by four or four by eight billet of styrofoam. Uh, you could use blue board if you want, but it's really, really nice to use this open cell foam uh, because honestly, you know, we can spray a little bit of bonder on here if we wanted, but this is a pretty sticky mix. And if it's open cell foam, honestly, we don't really even need a bonder to go with it. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna mix this stuff up and we're gonna apply this to our foam about a half inch thick. Now, in this case, you know, this is gonna be a rock, just a faux rock that's gonna sit on the ground. Uh, this is something that could be a high to key rock. This would cover up, um, you know, so like a well cover. There are so many great uses for that, but this also works great on seat walls. Um, you could also do this, honestly, if you just have a cement board substrate, um, like as on a bar back, uh, you could put this up. Um, in other words, that's gonna give that all the structure it needs as well. So this uh, GFRC backer mix is not a just add water product. We do have to use the uh, Duracast modifier with this. And in today's case, we're gonna start with about three and three quarter quarts of modifier per bag of backer mix. I will say to my experience, if this mix is too dry, it's gonna have a hard time of sticking to this stuff right. And it's gonna be hard to create any detail with it. Uh, so, but you can go all the way to four quarts if you want, but we're just gonna start at three and three quarter. And so just go ahead and, and, and you know dump your liquid into your mixer, dump in your powder, let it mix up for two to three minutes, scrape the sides, and then it is a good idea to let this stuff fall set uh, for just maybe three or four minutes, uh, just to kind of let it go through its initial set, remix it, and then it's good to go. It's usable for, for quite a while. This stuff does set pretty fast. If you have a really, really large area, you know, you would, might not want to make five or six bags at a time um, if you don't have enough people to apply it. So, you know, one to two bag batches is usually pretty much perfect. So we do have full episodes of Technique of the Week on cutting this foam, how to use the, the, the bow cutter. We also have a concrete edge uh, that goes through, um, you know, what foam core construction is all about, what are the upsides, what are the downsides those links are in the description uh, just click on those videos to check them out as well well guys that's pretty much it for this week's show uh, these things are coated and good to go we just got to let this uh, dry up and at that point they are going to be hard as a rock and then we can just put our vertical mix on it and go from there so from all of us here at deco creek tv thanks joe we'll see you guys next time